the Overwatch 2 beta is out and yes it does run on Steam Deck. Not without some quirks though which I'll get into shortly but as you can see from this footage this is looking and playing absolutely fantastically. This is actually running on the low settings and I'll show you some of the medium settings and the game mode behaviour as well. This is actually running in desktop mode for reasons that I will cover in a little while but otherwise it does actually play quite well providing you have the patience to get through the battle.net launcher. That's because it takes forever to load up in the first instance so you will be waiting for at least 5 minutes just to launch the battle.net launcher and then obviously you have your download and install time on top of that. Once you're into the game though it does actually load incredibly quickly but there is a controller issue which I'll cover very soon. So looking at the medium settings now in game mode we'll see even in the menus we're dropping into the 20s frames per second already with the dynamic render scale off and the medium standard settings here. So as we get into the game we see that we're bouncing around that frame time massive dips into the 20 fps as well and even getting some lower as well but getting some horrible lag spikes in the graphics just overall playing and it really wasn't a very nice experience to be honest. I did drop this down to low with vsync on and that frame time really did stabilize. Again you can see from the game mode play here 40 frames per second was much more solid but that frame time most importantly was a lot more stable so we weren't dropping around a lot. There is however this really annoying issue where the control schema just switches on you during spawns and if you're in game mode there's no really easy way to switch windows. Now I'd close the battle.net launcher thinking that that was the issue however it's not. It's actually needing to alt tab out of the game and back in to pick up the controller configuration again which in game mode is actually incredibly difficult. For some reason when the countdown timer kicks in it does then remember the control schema but you also then also get caught on some invisible walls and if you don't get out in time you will get kicked from the game for idling. So you should be able to use the alt tab method in game mode if you keep that battle.net launcher open and switch between the windows maybe bind an alt tab quick bind to one of your controller keys or quick keys but in desktop mode I found this a lot easier but then I also did have my re i4 keyboard connected so I could just alt tab out and back in again at the start of each round so that I didn't get that issue but it was playing absolutely smoothly although I can't have the FPS up running in desktop mode with that alt tab just out and back in again to fix the controller issue really did make it playable. Now it can be annoying obviously but even if you just use the mouse and keyboard the mouse actually gets stuck as a cursor and you still have to do that alt tab. Now I don't know if this is a game bug in general or just because it's running through Proton. I should have mentioned at the start that this is running Proton Experimental. Any of the other versions the game just doesn't seem to load for some reason. But for Proton Experimental I was able to run the launcher and game just fine. But like I said the Battle.net launcher just takes a good 5 minutes to load. It's really slow interacting with it in general so just be patient with it. And if you want to install the Battle.net launcher we do have a separate guide here for that on the channel. I'll leave you with a bit more of the gameplay here from Overwatch 2 on Steam Deck without me talking so you can get a better feel for the gameplay and performance. Let us know in the comments below if there's any other games that you are on the lookout for and if it's in our library we'll take a look. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the video.